Hello FedEx contractor. We are Starry by Data and we have very exciting news for you. Our FedEx reporting dashboard will provide you with vital information about your business to help make important decisions and optimize your operations. Now that you've read a bit about our weekly settlements dashboard, we would like to show you a demo of the dashboard so you can really see the valuable insights that it has to offer. We'll be looking at Express Trucking, which is a mock company that we created to showcase the dashboard. First, let's take a look at the weekly settlements section. The settlement will show you a quick snapshot of your weekly settlements. It shows you how much you've earned on your trips, any adjustments credited, fuel purchases, and then displays your net settlements for the week in the total. The miles quantity and dollar amount by leg chart shows you how many miles were driven and earnings for each trip. The light orange represents the miles driven and the bright orange represents the earnings for that trip. You can see which leg is earning the most revenue and you can verify all of the trips that you've made during the week are included in the settlement. Next, on the bottom left, we have the miles driven by driver charts. These show a quick view of how many miles each of your drivers have driven for a given week. You can use this information when paying the drivers. This will save you a lot of time going through the statements and adding up the miles manually. The chart on the bottom right provides a breakdown by vehicle. You can see how many miles were driven by each truck and how much earnings they brought in for that week. On the top left, here we have the settlement dates listed exactly the way you would see it in your My Ground Biz account. When you click on the box next to any of the dates, it will automatically update the information for that specific settlement. You can select multiple settlement dates by holding the control button while clicking on the boxes. Let's go ahead and click on the March 17th. As you can see, all of the data changes. Let's move on to the next tab, the year to date summary. So the year to date summary section uses all available settlement statements and tells you how your business is performing this year. So as quantity and dollar amount by vehicle number chart, we already covered in the last section. There are two new charts here, however, the first new chart is the dollar amount by category. It's the dollar amount by category, which gives you a visual representation of the category table. It starts with your earnings or line hold trips amount, and then tells a story, with additions or subtractions of different components of how the net settlement is derived at the end of the total column. The second new chart is monthly settlements on the bottom right. This shows the settlement amount for each month of the year, and you can compare how your business is performing from month to month. Which, <clears throat> On top left, we have a date slicer. You will see this box in the next two sections as well. This is a very useful feature as it allows you to view information for any given time period. You simply drag the end of the slicer to desired date, and you change the beginning of the slider to another date, and each time you change the date, the chart will update the new information for that time period. You can go ahead and drag it and drop it, and you could see it all changing. Moving on to fuel purchases. So here on the left, we have a table showing fuel gallons and purchase amounts by state. This table will save you a lot of time during the quarterly IFTA filing. Simply adjust the dates for the quarter that you need, the information for Let's say for Q1, you can just go ahead and filter. Let's do the beginning of 2017 and filter it for, let's say end of March. That should be fine. And the table will automatically update the data for that specific period. Now you have the information for first quarter of 2017. We also have this information displayed visually in a chart on the bottom where you can easily see which states how many gallons of fuel were purchased and how much they cost. On top here we have two maps of the United States. The bubbles represent gallons of fuel purchased and the bigger bubble, uh, the bigger the bubble, the more fuel was purchased in that particular state. The great thing about these maps is that when we click on a particular state, we get a breakdown of cities within the state and the map right next to it. Let's try Pennsylvania, for example. If we go ahead and click on Pennsylvania, we can see um, 
cities that fuel were purchased in Pennsylvania. When we hover over the bubbles, we get the exact city name. Here we go. Now to the performance section. Here we have a breakdown of the safety bonus by vehicle in the donut chart. This is the donut chart. On the bottom left, you can see the average fuel price by state. And this tells you where the fuel is less expensive. On the top right, we have the miles per gallon by vehicle. This is a really important metric as it tells you the fuel efficiency of your trucks. The higher the mileage per gallon, the less money you spend on fuel for that particular truck and the higher the profits are for you. The two charts on the bottom right give you miles driven by driver. This is a year to date picture of miles driven by your drivers. Custom time range is available here as well with the date slicer. So you can go ahead and slice the data again just by dragging it to any date that you need. They, this entire dashboard is also available on mobile devices through the app. This means that you will always have access to this information on your smartphone or tablet. Thank you for watching this demo. We hope that you can see the immense value this password will bring to your business. Please subscribe now by clicking the subscribe button in the email and get the first month absolutely free.